Hey everybody and welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. Uh, today we are going to go once again back to the uh, video that Chris posted on um, January 11th. Uh, this is Sol 315 of the Perseverance rover. I uh, got a few more things modeled and I'll leave a link to his uh, page again. Um, yeah, I found some interesting things in here. I'm still trying to make out some of the stuff in this image, so it, <laughs> it's really tough, especially this is the original image as it came from NASA, um, and it, a, there's a lot of obfuscation as we explained before. Uh, the first bit of obfuscation uh, that we talked about was this uh, grid pattern. If you zoom way in, you can see this grid pattern here. It's really evident in the background. It goes all the way through the image, but you can see a little better uh, in this uh, in this background. All right, that was the first level, and then uh, this entire area up here for sure uh, was a texture applied. There's actually a bunch of stuff underneath here. Uh, I think uh, Chris's burn shows it better than mine. Um, so I'll show you, uh, let's see, this is, uh, well, let's go with this one. All right, this is his burn. And... Um, <clears throat> Where all that uh, hill was, all this stuff came out in his burn. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in, in this. And some of this stuff is hard to make out. And uh, it's 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 been a challenge to model this. We may be about done with this. This may be the last video on this one. Uh, I got one more. It's this one here. This is just a little bit farther over. Um, you can see that there's definitely objects in here, but obviously with that grid pattern and trying to uh, get rid of the grid pattern and stuff, it you don't get much detail. And that's the reason I think that they put that over there. So you can't bring out much detail, but it doesn't mean we can't see anything. Um, this right here, this is the enhancement that I did on it, and uh, I used interpolate, interpolate, interpolate uh, anti-aliasing, and deinterlace, um, and of course adjusted. Oh, uh, the first thing I did was uh, let me go back to the original image so you can see this. If you look at this, as I explained before, the left side of the image is relatively bright. And as you get farther to the right, it gets darker. Now, it shouldn't because, as you can see by the shadows, the sun is almost directly overhead. I mean, almost directly. It's a little bit behind everything, but for the most part, it's directly overhead. So why does it get darker to the right? They put some sort of gradient texture on it to to get it darker as it goes right so the first thing i did as you can see is i tried to uh even it up on the lighting and uh we got you know a little better clearer image here the other thing i did was take out the grid pattern if you zoom way in here well i zoom i scaled the image up too which you can see, for the most part, we got rid of the grid pattern. Um, so uh, I think that was de-interlace. I don't know. I'm not real good with GIMP. I just fiddle around with stuff until I get something that looks pretty decent. All right. And, uh, of course, it's not going to make the image itself much clearer, but you'll be able to see things a little better and let, let the computer kind of extrapolate the data and uh, add in the missing lines and stuff. This piece right here is one that he talked about in his video. And uh, the shape of it, as you see, goes up across. It comes down a little bit. It might come back up. 
it comes down here into a V and then goes back up to the back. I still haven't figured out what that is. And by the way, it goes up and it may come down again and go back up. I, I don't know what that is unless it's just a bent up giant piece of metal. So I, I don't know. Uh, that's one that I've been struggling with to make out. Uh, for today's video, though, uh, we are going to look at, um, we did pretty much everything that I could make out over here. Uh, this was that first one we talked about, the tracked vehicle, like a tank or something. There's one over here, and his burn is better for this, in fact. Uh, there you go. And his, you can make out those tracks a little better same with this tank over here that came out in his burn so i use his burn a lot for modeling uh but for this part here and i hate to keep switching back and forth don't want to make you dizzy um this right here was one i wish he would have got into but uh we went ahead and I looked at that real close and tried to bring out what that is. Now, to me, that's some sort of winged vehicle. You can see the wings on both sides. Uh, you can see the tail section right here. You can barely make out the nose. There's something underneath. I, I'm wondering if this is some sort of drone that's launched from a rail system. And maybe that's what's underneath it, or maybe that's just shadow. It's really hard to make out. And then there's something underneath this wing right here. <sighs> kind of looks like a box, but I, I I couldn't tell. I couldn't get any more detail out of it. But I did model the shape of that. As you get over here, um, even with the enhancements, you really can't tell too much what this stuff is this one right here <laughs> this actually looked like a bus like an old school bus or something you kind of see the roundness to the a wheel right there you can see the the hood of the bus right there the windshield i don't know if that's what that is but i thought that was pretty interesting whatever it is i don't think it's a rock and the biggest thing about all this is maybe i'm wrong about what these things are uh but you you definitely gotta admit these are not rocks this one right here this is definitely not a rock you can see how this is the front these are the sides there's this box like thing on top there's this thing back here if these are some rocks mars has some very interesting weather patterns that that seem to carve and shape rocks into some pretty interesting shapes but uh and then we looked at uh, some of these things here in front after we got them cleaned up. And then this piece here we looked at. So let's go ahead and jump on over into Blender. Okay, so this is the stuff that we had looked at in the previous models. Um, You know, this, this was that first tank, the little box that I put on it. Okay, those are those things there, that little shoe-looking thing in the back. Uh, there's nothing really new in this one except this piece back here. I don't know what this thing is. And I looked at it in his burn and mine. But this seems to be the shape that it has. Well, that's going to be in the way. Let's hide you. Okay. There we go. All right. And it's got this weird uh, uh, part that goes up here. You can see that in the image. 
I don't know if these are windows or what this is. I don't know if it's a vehicle or what, but this is the shape that it seems to have. And then it even looks like windows in the front. I did bottle those because those did look like some sort of windows. But like I said, I can't get it any clearer. I've tried everything playing with it and trying to, to clean up the image a little more. Yeah, it's something on the front. Could be a grill or something if it's a vehicle. So I'm not really sure about uh, that one. And these uh, chrome pieces here. You know, we looked at those already, but that's what those look like. I really like those. Uh, they just look cool. There's this one right here. You can see that in the background. All right, that's that piece there. So we looked at those. And that's what that looks like. All right, so let's get on over. Oh, and I did get the terrain model. We'll get into that here in a minute. So this is that uh, burn, that well, that enhancement that I did. I did burn a little bit, uh, but mainly it was just using different filters to try to enhance it. And even in mine, you can barely make it out. His is clearer on this, but that's what looks like those tank treads. And that's that object there. I tried to make out these objects, but it wasn't really coming out real well. But here's that piece. And uh, like I said, what this thing is, I don't know. It's not as clear in here, I realize. His, once again, came out better. <laughs> but there you go, that's that. Yeah, you can see a little more detail in his. But this piece over here was one I was really interested in. Okay, so let's move this guy out of the way. And I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can see that. See the shape? These are like, uh, I think, canard wings and how they curve around like this you can see the front of this how it comes back here's the tail piece right here that's right here and then i i couldn't tell if this was the stabilizer or not but it's so blurry and it's it's not really much definition between that and the stuff in the background. But I figure if it is an aircraft, then it probably has a vertical stabilizer. Oh, and the thing I didn't mention was on these wings, it actually looks like flaps right here. Those look like your flaps. And it would probably have ailerons here somewhere. But uh, yeah, that look, thing looked pretty cool. And this would be what it looks like here. It's something like this shape here. It's got a really long wingspan. So I imagine it's made for uh, gliding, um, staying aloft pretty easy without much speed. So it might be like reconnaissance aircraft or something like that or, or i think it's a drone because it's not much bigger actually than uh these vehicles over here see the size of this vehicle and i'm not gonna zoom out or in so you can see see how small it is if the people are normal size and those are vehicles and if those are in fact vehicles over there this would be uh, it wouldn't be enough room for someone to sit in here. This would be like a, a drone. So it's probably got a motor on the front, but it's made for um, staying aloft pretty easy without um, without much speed for like reconnaissance or something like that. And hence the really long wingspan, if you can see that wingspan on there. Because that wingspan's pretty long in the image. If this is an aircraft, 
All right, that's what that would look like right there. So that was pretty interesting. Now, like I said, I've been trying to do uh, the rest of these, but it's just, it's, it's so blurry. I can't really make anything out. So we may be about done with this one, but let's go ahead and go over to the uh, 3D model. And I went ahead and put everything in place over here. Oh, I did use my camera to set up the shot here um so this would be looking out from where the rover's sitting taking the image um there and i put an hdri in the background to give it some better ambient lighting uh, i made it invisible so you won't see it excuse me but this is uh what this would look like now let's go over here so I went ahead and dropped everything in our model here. And there's these pieces. They sit on the hill right about here. And then um, here's that next tank over, if it is a tank. And that sits right about here. Oh, and I fixed the treads. So... <laughs> I had treads going the wrong way on a couple of these, so I had to fix that. This is that concrete piece, and I'm guessing it's concrete, but either way, it had a weird uh, shape to it. Why? Well, so I thought I took the sparkle out of it. The specular highlights, but yeah, it looks like they're still in there. <clears throat> Here's these chrome pieces. In fact, I think you can see that one underneath it, can you? Nope. Where did he go? Nope. There's these. And that's what those look like. They look like they were hollow in the front. So that's these. Here's that box we looked at. And then this thing, whatever in the world that is. Maybe it is just a weird shaped rock. I don't know. But like I say, it looked like it had the windows on the front. And maybe a grill. So maybe some sort of big vehicle or something. This one will be a pretty good size compared to, you can see it, the tank next to it. It's a little bit bigger. Here's that one that's up on top of the hill sitting on the ridge. You see it from kind of this angle. That's the angle you see it from in the picture. It looks pretty cool. And once again, the textures on these are just, just a guess at what, you know, <laughs> some sort of camouflage, but all these, if they are tanks, here's this tank here. And this one, I call it the command vehicle. I don't know what it is. Nobody knows, but it just, it'll look like some sort of command vehicle. Okay, so let's go look at our drone or whatever it is. So it's sitting on the hill right about here. In fact, this one I know I can see under the texture. There it is right there. Okay. And this is it sitting on the hill. You're seeing it from about this angle here. And that's what that would look like. So uh, this has been an interesting one. I wish we could have made out more detail. There's so much stuff in here. And I, uh, I've i been looking at other images uh, from the same area, and, and you can't really get any more detail out of it. And then, in fact, on Saul 325, um, there was more stuff in that, and I've been trying to 
make out stuff in that. So I've been going through their images, uh, the ones that they released uh, of the Perseverance, and seeing if there's anything else I can make out. But uh, so far, I, I'm working on one image, and we'll see if I can get anything out of it. But yeah, I've been looking at uh, at previous days and then uh, days after just to see if we can um, see anything different. I wish I could match up the ingenuity shots with the perseverance, see if they have any um, shots from the air, but they don't fly ingenuity too often. And uh, I couldn't find anything that, that matched this area not yet i'll keep looking there's a lot of images to look through so there we go there's our drone or whatever it is let's show you from the different angles and stuff and i still haven't done the background if if we continue with this model uh i'll go ahead and and put a background and put the mountain there's actually a mountain range uh in the background or a hill i don't think it's a mountain range but anyway it's probably the edge of the crater or something i don't know how far i need to get a map of where ingenuity is on sol 325 and see how close it is and see if that's what we're seeing is the rim of the crater in the background that's making that mountain range there we go that is what i got for today uh i'll probably miss part of the chat today i've actually missed the last three or four in a row and had to watch it on the replay uh they've been calling the wife into work uh early lately so i usually miss the live chat now and i or come back in uh about halfway through and i haven't really uh gotten uh uh interacted in the comments but uh i may be there here for the second half of it depending on how long uh it takes to get her up there and I'd usually do some running around while I take her, uh, and then I come back. But uh, so you guys don't forget about the live chat today at Mars Anomalies and Beyond, and uh, we got some more stuff we got to get done, like on the moon one, uh, and um, what else? There was another one, but anyway, the other video I want to. Take too long to think about it. You guys have a great day, and we shall see you on the next video. Um, please remember to uh, like uh, this video, share it with everybody, and uh, hey, uh, we got a few new subscribers. Thank you to our new subscribers. Uh, hopefully, we get some more videos out real soon for you, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.